everybody, this is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. I have two kale plants that are ready to be put into my bins for my non-circulating hydroponic method. And I'm going to show you how I do it. First, you need some sort of a bin or a bucket or some kind of a container that you are going to put your plants in. This bin is a 16 quart or 15 liter bin. Uh, it seems to work out right for me. You might want one that's narrower and deeper or but uh, about this size or even larger. Some people use much larger ones. And then you're going to need to drill holes in the top. I have way more holes in here than what is needed so I'm going to cover them. I have two plants that I'm going to put in there. I'm going to put them in opposite corners which is as far away as I can get them. They're going to need that space because the kale does get pretty big. So I'm going to cover these other holes with some duct tape. You do not want to let light inside the bin, no matter what kind of bin you use, because that will invite algae to grow. Another thing I'm going to do is I've got a clear bin, so I've got to do something to protect it from the light. You can spray paint on the outside of this. I've done that in the past and that works well for a lot of people. I didn't really enjoy spray painting it and it can scratch off easily so I didn't really like doing that. So I have a 30 gallon black trash bag that I will line this with for the sake of keeping the light out of it. You don't have to use a bag. You can take some layers of newspaper and tape it around the outside of the bin or brown paper of some sort like paper bags or brown paper that comes on a roll. You might be able to use cloth, but any anything you've got to watch and make sure you might have to layer it. And even with my black bag here, uh, one layer or the, actually the two layers together is really not enough and there's a lot of excess bag down here so what I'd like to do is actually make as many layers of the plastic as I possibly can and I'm holding up against the light in my window that's open next there and I can't see through it so I'm going to take a little bit of duct tape and just tape it up here so I know that this is going to hold tight and then there's a little bit of down at the bottom that can wrap around and that will be enough to keep light out of this bin and I'll be back with you as soon as that's taped and ready to go. I have my duct tape on there just took some little strips all the way around and just take the the end of the bag up this way so there's actually three layers of black plastic and I think it's going to guard against the light enough and there's plenty of room in the bin for my water, no issue. And the lid has been duct taped with these, uh, covering up these extra holes. Now again, you shouldn't need to do that because you only want to drill enough holes in there for your plants and you don't want them too close together. That was my mistake to begin with. So we live and we learn on these things, and especially with kale. They need plenty of room. So I'm scrunching them as close as I possibly can, which is opposite corners in this bin. Now we're ready to put some nutrient solution in here. And I'm going to put just one gallon in here to just show you how I mix it. And then I'm going to put this on my rack because I'm not about to move this when it's full of solution. Now I just have a one gallon jug here. You can use whatever size container you feel comfortable with. And I have my hydroponics solution that's my choice here which is General Hydroponics Maxi Grow. I'm not promoting any one type of nutrient for hydroponics over another. I'm not. Um, this just happens to be what I have, what I've latched onto and it's good for uh, the lettuce and the kale that I grow and the herbs as well. So now to my gallon I'm using just about one teaspoon of this nutrient solution. I've added a little bit of water. This is filtered water that I've added uh, to my gallon. I will be filling it up entirely but I like to add just a little water first 
and now I have pH up because I know that this particular nutrient solution mixes up on the acidic side and so I want to raise it and I've got uh, six milliliters here of pH up that I normally add. Now I'm going to fill this jug up and let it sit for 10-15 minutes. It takes a little bit of time for the pH to uh, settle out and then I'm going to test the pH of this solution to make sure that it's between 5.5 and 6.5 on the pH scale. All right, we've made it up to 5.8, and that is within the range, and I'm going to let it go at that. Now, I'm going to go ahead and pour this gallon of liquid in here. I'm going to move this bin to its new home, and what I do is go ahead and put this on, and I place an empty net pot in there, and I'll keep adding fluid to this until when I stick my finger in there, I have liquid coming up close to the first joint on my finger. I'm looking for no more than up to about a half an inch uh, up of fluid up to the net part. About no more, no more than this line. That's probably more than what you need to do on this first line on the net pot. Probably a little bit less than that. but. Um, that's what we want to do is just add nutrient solution until it comes to that point and then we will take the net pots with the live plant in there and carefully place it in its new home and put it under grow lights and let her be. My nutrient solution settled at 5.9 which is fine and you can see my baby kale is in the middle bin there on the rack on the bottom and I've got the lights off obviously so that I could show this uh, really well and hopefully this helps you out. Well I do hope this helps you out. This is Judy at Judy in the Kitchen. Bye for now.